Good afternoon and welcome back to Kernel Outdoors. Today we're going to be looking at adding custom data screens using the Garmin Connect app. So using it on your phone instead of direct on the watch, which you can do. You can see my tutorial um, listed below. Um, we're going to start with a brief tutorial on the Garmin watch, just the buttons. So purple top left is the light. If you double press it, it's the light. If you press and hold it, it brings you to your shortcut buttons. Blue is up and red is down. Yellow is back or lap and green is start and stop. So first thing you do is you want to launch the Garmin Connect app. Um, it should open up, it might take a second to sync like mine. Um, I'm using mine on an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And um, once that opens, it might take a moment to open. Um, once it's open, it will bring up all of your details. So mine is in there quite, quite quickly. And at the top right, you can see your device. Mine is the Epix Pro, right in the top right hand corner with a little green dot, meaning it's connected. So you click on that. And then you click again on the Epix Pro, the one that is connected. So you would click on that. From there, it will take a second to connect to your watch. You have this screen. And you simply want to click on activities and apps and find out which one you want to modify the data screens for. I've chosen bike because I do little bikes and I never have the time of day. And it's frustrating. Um, so data screens, here they are. And you click on data screens and it will give you the choice of what do you want on your screen? Do you want one, one display? Do you want three displays? What do you want your screen to be? So you add data screen and obviously it's custom data because we're deciding. So you click on the top and this is where it will let you choose the layout. Um, you can have one field, two, three. I always go for the maximum. I like having lots of data when I look at my watch. Um, the more you use it, again, you can move stuff around, but eight fields. One of the things I want is the time of day. So that's really important. So field one, you can see the circle at the top divides the watch face. So screen one, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to probably choose um, the time. How long have I been out? How long have I been on my bike? Um, so I'll just have a timer. And you think, think about what you want to see. On a bike, I want to know generally what the temperature is. I'd like to see what my heart rate is. Um, I want the time of day. Sometimes sunrise, sunset could be good, but I don't think I'm going to add it on this one because on this, I only use the bike app for if I'm just shooting here or there, heading into town or going to see a friend. So it's never a serious cycle. But you can see all of the fields and each click on each of those and it's probably got several, several lots of different um, versions inside or lots of different items. So speed, we want to know the speed. So I'm going to click the speed there. Um, and you just simply click on it and it will add it on, which is, which is a good thing. And the more you get used to it, um, the easier it becomes. But you do have to do some hunting for stuff that you want. So time of day is actually in other fields, um, right at the bottom there. There's lots of interesting stuff in there. Um, yeah distance if you're cycling it's always good to know the distance so at the minute i don't do much cycling um i need to do a lot more but this one time of day temperature time of day what would you have on yours i'm curious i'd love to have the uh di2 so i can see what gear i'm in on my bike but um yeah i don't have those sort of funds Just going to go through and add the eight fields. So just need, uh, we've got speed. So the last one we want is, I can't remember, I think I put direction. I put a compass heading. Uh, it wasn't in navigation, of course. So I'm looking for it. Um, that is good if you're navigating, if you've got a map on it and you're using that. But I just want which way I'm heading. So there. And there we go. And then save in the top right hand corner. And there we go. So you can see the one there. You can delete the other ones if you want that one to appear top, but it won't. So that now is saved. Sync your watch by clicking on the recycling symbol, which is spinning. I've never seen a red triangle there before, but 
But there we go, I tried it again and it seems to have worked. So now if we go on to our Garmin watch, I use an Omega screen face because I wish I had an Omega, but don't because they don't do this. Click on bike, start the activity, give it a second. I'm obviously inside so it can't pick it up. And you can see all my data fields there. No, 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 and it'll be the very last one. It'll be the next one, not that one. I'm just working it out, not that one, the next one. And there we go. Speed obviously isn't, time of day, heart rate, and uh, there we go, and heading. So that is it, and that is how you use your phone to do that.